class i welcome you all to the session this session we are going to discuss uh, revaluation account problem under retirement or death of a partner so a b c were partner sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1 b decides to retire on 31st march 2016 on the date of his retirement some of the assets and liabilities appeared in the books as follows creditors 70000 building 1 lakh plant and machinery 40000 stock of raw materials 20000 stock of finished goods 30000 debtors 20000 the following was agreed among the partners on b's retirement building to be appreciated by 20 percentage plant and machinery to be depreciated by 10 percentage a provision of 5 percentage on debtors to be created for doubtful debts stock of raw materials to be valued at 18000 and finished goods at 35000 old computer previously written off was sold for 2000 as scrap firm had to pay 5000 to an injured employee pass necessary journal entry to record the above adjustment and prepare revaluation account so this is the question now we know that when we are preparing revaluation account if asset increases liability decreases credit if asset decreases liability increases debit so this is how you have to do it so first let us prepare the revaluation account and then we will start doing the uh, journal entry okay so first transaction 25th problem revaluation account so I just opened a revaluation account first one is building is appreciated by 20 percentage so building is 1 lakh appreciated by 20 percentage is 20,000 assert is increased so you need to credit it to buy building twenty thousand. then plant and machinery to be depreciated by 10 percent so plant and machinery to be depreciated by 10 percent 40,000 so to plant and machinery so it is asset decreasing because of depreciation so 10 percentage on 40,000 is 4,000 then uh, you have provision of 5 percentage on debtors to be created for doubtful debts so provision of 5 percentage on debtors to be created for doubtful debts so debtors 20,000 uh, on that 5 percentage will be 1000 so to provision for provision for doubtful debts 5 percentage 1000 then stock of raw materials to be valued at 18000 and finished goods at 35000 so stock of finished stock raw materials to be valued at 18,000 so stock of raw material is 20,000 given but valued at uh, uh, 18,000 which means 2,000 is uh, depreciated so I just write it here stock of raw materials how much 2,000 because 20,000 was the value but it's valued at 18,000 then finished to goods finished to goods previously it was 30,000 but now it is 35,000 so asset increases so by stock of finished goods okay finished goods account it is 5,000 okay and then we have um, uh, old computers previously written off as uh, sold for 2,000 as scrap so you have a uh, old computer previously written off but uh, it is say sold for sold for scrap so buy old computer so computer account 2000 because it, it, we thought that there is no value but there is a scrap value of 2000 okay and then you have a firm had to pay 5000 to an injured employee so to workmen compensation claim account 5000 so workman compensation claim account because injured employee is related to workman compensation claim so finally you would have to tally the account so the total of credit side comes to 27000 total of 
credit side now uh, we need to close this uh, so 5 10 12 12 so 12 minus 27 is 15,000 so 2 profits transfer to A's capital account B's capital account C's C's capital account so uh, you need to segregate this in uh, in which ratio in 2 is to 2 is to 1 so 2 is to 2 is to 1 the ratio is given here 2 is to 2 is to 1 so 2 is to 2 is to 1 so 2 is to 2 is to 1 will be 6000 6000 and 3000 so totally it is 15,000. So this is how you will prepare the revaluation account. They are also asking us to prepare the journal entry. So I'll just write the journal entry. I'll just show you how to write the journal entry. Building account debit, stock of uh, finished goods account debit, uh, compu computer account debit to revaluation account 27,000. So we have to write it like this. Here these things and all two. Then A's uh, capital account, B's capital account to revaluation. Okay. So we'll just, I'll just uh, write this alone and show you so it is journal entry building count debit stock of finished goods account debit computer account debit to revaluation account we have 20,000 5,000 2,000 27,000 being increase in the value of asset transfer to revaluation account Then you have revaluation account debit to plant and machinery account to provision for doubtful debts account to stock of raw materials account to workmen compensation account so here um, you will write 4000 1000 2000 5000 total 12000 okay so it's uh, being increase in value of Assets transferred to revaluation account. Okay, and then you have revaluation account debit to A's capital account to B's capital account to C's capital account so you have 15,000 then you have 6,000 6,000 and 3,000 so this is being revaluation profit transferred to partners uh, capital account 
okay so this is how you will write the journal entry i i hope that this is clear okay the next thing that we are going to uh, look into is the treatment of reserves and accumulated profits and losses so i'll just uh, read the problem uh, treatment of reserves and accumulated profits and losses um uh, we'll just do this problem uh, problem number 28 asha navin and shalini were partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 goodwill appeared in their books at a value of 80000 and general reserve at 40000 navin decided to retire from the firm on the date of his retirement goodwill of the firm was valued at 120000 the new profit sharing ratio decided among asha and shalini is 2 is to 3 record necessary journal entries on Naveen's retirement so this is the entry so the firm sharing um, the profits is this one profit sharing ratio goodwill is 80,000 general reserve is 40,000 Naveen has decided to retire from the on the date of his retirement goodwill value is given new profit sharing ratio is also given you have to prepare necessary journal entries so first let us start by um, identifying what is the total balance okay so first goodwill valuation for goodwill valuation we should be required to prepare what is the gaining ratio gaining ratio what is the gaining ratio gaining ratio is equal to new share minus the old share so new share minus old share so a is uh, Asha's A is for Asha's okay so A is uh, thing so what is the new ratio new ratio among uh, A and uh, yes okay because Naveen is retired 2 is to 3 what is the old ratio old ratio among A N and yes old ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2 so new ratio 2 by 5 minus old ratio old ratio 5 by 10 so multiplied by 2 so you have 4 by 10 minus 5 by 10 so minus 1 by 10 now s s share will be s share will be 3 by 5 minus 2 by 10 so 3 by 5 minus 2 by 10 so 6 by 10 minus 2 by 10 so you had 4 by 10 now this is a minus so this will be a sacrifice okay so sacrifice this will be gain now both Asha and Naveed would be compensated by Shalini in the ratio 1 is to 3 okay is sacrifice for 1 tenth so you have to understand this <coughs> <clears throat> what is the goodwill so you have to understand this both uh, a and n would be compensated by shalini that is yes okay by yes in the ratio for n it is 3 okay for a it is 1 because he is sacrificing to the extent of 1 so 1 is to 3 so uh, sacrificing ratio will be this so 1,20,000 is the value of goodwill so 1 is to 3 for a and n would be 12,000 and 36,000 okay 12,000 and 36,000 and then you have the journal entry A's capital account N's capital account and yes capital account to goodwill account so you have existing goodwill 80,000 in the books 
so I'm just going to segregate that okay so existing goodwill is being segregated in the old profit sharing ratio in the old profit sharing ratio 80,000 here we have 40,000 24,000 and 16,000 so this is over next one the general reserve is going to be segregated so general reserve account debit to yes capital account to yens capital account to s capital account so you have 40,000 here then 20,000 12,000 and 8,000 in the old profit sharing ratio which is 5 is to 3 is to 2 this is also over the next one is uh, Shalini uh, has to, will uh, get the goodwill adjusted by debiting gaining partner and uh, crediting sacrificing and retiring partner so um, yes capital account to yes capital account to yens capital account so how much is the share one lakh twenty no it is uh, forty eight thousand okay because it is um, uh, one lakh twenty thousand degree uh, segregated it is forty eight thousand so forty eight thousand here it is twelve thousand and 36,000 being goodwill appeared by uh, debiting gaining partners and crediting sacrificing and retiring partner so I just write it here being goodwill adjusted by debiting gaining partner and crediting sacrificing sacrificing and retiring partner sacrificing and retiring partner so this is how you try to do it so I'll uh, we have completed um, treatment of reserves and accumulated profits and losses so uh, I'll just uh, show you one thing that you need to note uh, before closing this session so you just have to understand this if uh, under this uh, you need to understand this okay if any of the retiring partner if sorry if any of the remaining partner has also sacrificed a part of his share in profits of the firm on retirement or death of a partner his capital account is also credited along with the retiring or deceased partner capital account with his proportion of sacrifice and the continuing partners capital account are debited or who have gained or retiring partners of a partner by recording the following entry so this is the entry continuing or gaining partner to retiring or deceased partner account to continuing or sacrificing continuing sacrificing partner so this is what is it? s is the gaining person gaining partner a is the sacrificing continuing sacrificing partner n is the retiring or deceased partner so this is how this is how you have written it in this way so you need to understand this okay uh, so i'll see you in the next video till then take care